Hey everybody, this is WooWoo854. Um, topic for today is going to be the crazy people we have in this company. Company. I'm such a goober. The crazy people we have in this country. You can tell I've been at work too much. And the equally crazy government that uh, is behind them. What I mean about crazy people. The dude that shot up the movie theater out in Colorado. Um, I don't know that he's what you would call clinically insane, like has an actual reason to be crazy, but anybody that would go in and quote unquote body armor from the liberal media <clears throat> and uh, high powered weapons and shoot up a movie theater, it's probably got a few uh, rocks off. But uh, what's even better about this is uh, the government that we have is equally as crazy and you might ask well why is that okay um, the government thinks that if you put a gun free zone sign on any kind of business or in airports or anything like that that that's going to protect you and that's just about as crazy of a notion as this guy that went up and shot the movie theater how many times do criminals break the law? Well, obviously, at least once, or they wouldn't be criminals. They wouldn't be defined as criminals if they didn't break the law at least once. So, most lifelong criminals, they'll start small and get big, or they just go all out like this jackass did. Um... Lifelong criminals don't care about laws. So if you put a gun-free zone sign anywhere, if someone that's a criminal or even someone that's not a, has no criminal record but just wants to do evil, pure evil, wants to go in and do such, they're not going to really pay regard to the gun-free zone sign. And then everyone else there that's a law-abiding citizen is a sheep. They didn't bring their concealed carry weapons because they followed the laws of their government. They followed the rules, and yet they got punished for it. Just like in the movie theater. People laid down their lives protecting their significant others and their children in there. But could it have been a different outcome? Could it have been a different outcome if someone had just had a weapon and... and pop this guy a few times even if he had ballistic armor on which I'm not a hundred percent sure he did that's just what the media has told us even if he did a 38 a 357 magnum a 45 ACP to the chest is gonna knock the wind out of him at least and if you can knock the wind out of this sucker you bought yourself some time um, a lot of people will argue, um, well, people would have been killed in the crossfire if someone would have had a weapon. Um, that's, that's a load of shit. And I'll tell you why, is because if you shoot at this guy, who's he going to shoot at? Is he going to shoot at the innocent civilian that's hunkered down on the ground and totally ignore the dude that's trying to kill him? Or is he going to fire at the guy that's returning fire back at him? Common sense will tell you he's probably going to shoot at the guy that's returning fire back at him because he is the threat. Um, Iraq veteran and uh, Barry that's on his channel, they just posted their gun gripe. They made a really good point about this, and I'm kind of seconding that. That he's not going to shoot at the people that are unarmed. He's going to shoot at that one person that's firing back. Now, yeah, you put yourself in immediate danger, but it's just like it's just like suppressing fire in the military. If, if a unit wants to move up under fire, if they want to advance on the enemy, somebody's going to take a saw and start laying down some lead at that dude. And that's going to give them maybe just enough time to move some troops up to get in a more tactical position to take this asshole out to shoot. Well, it's the same difference in the movie theater. Though they weren't militarily or tactically trained, maybe, anyone with common sense knows that if they have a gun, they were probably trained how to use it, especially if they had a concealed carry license, they had to have a class most likely. They know to shoot center mass, they know how to take a target out. And they may not kill him or they may not uh, you know, disarm him, 
but they could have bought themselves and the other innocent civilians some time. But your government, Diane Feinstein, was one of them, liberal ass, that says that that would have caused crossfire and maybe there would have been more casualties from it. Yeah, and if frogs had wings, they wouldn't bump their ass when they jumped either. There's a lot of ifs in the world, Diane Feinstein, of the world. But you have to act. And the government theoretically took the gun out of the law-abiding citizen's hand to maybe not prevent this, but to prevent further losses, to minimize the casualties. And that's why I think that your government is just as crazy as your people that are going out and committing these crimes. These people, they may buy guns legally, but they're crazy as hell. And not everybody's crazy as hell that has a gun. There's perfectly good people out that have guns. Most people that have guns are law-abiding citizens that get them legally. Um, there's always going to be crazy people in this world. I come from an area where there was a high school um, not 10 miles away from me in my hometown. There was a school shooting back in 1997. And the person that did that normal everyday person that just snapped one day and it can happen to anybody but you can't you can't legislate people into a corner because what you're going to do is you're going to end up les legislating people so much that the crazies that we have now or the people that might be on that edge are going to snap even quicker and that's what's going to happen the more you try to control somebody the more likely they are to snap it's just like a preacher's daughter I know that's a bad analogy, but you out there that know what I'm talking about know it's most likely true. A preacher's daughter is, is most likely held to a strict standard as a kid, and when they grow up and get a little bit of freedom, they go eight crazy with it. Now, some of them don't. Some of them are, you know, they stick to their guns, but, you know, for the majority of what I've seen in my experience, they, they tend to go a little off the deep end. And the same principle applies to these people that have guns and go up and start shooting people up at random. I hope everybody has enjoyed this. Uh, it's meant to be informative. Yes, it's got my opinions in it, but my opinions are based off of fact. Any psychologist and psychiatrist will tell you that people under stress will do things and like a crime of passion type thing. And a stressor can be anything up to somebody breaking up with them, their girlfriend or boyfriend breaking up with them, all the way up to a government that is so tyrannical that it leads to them doing something absolutely insane that they may not normally do. I hope everyone enjoyed this. Like I said, it's not meant to be uh, inflammatory in any way. It's just meant to express my concerns and my opinions over the Second Amendment and the government's constant need to try and knock the law-abiding citizen down and take away more of our freedoms. They say we are safer if more of our freedoms are taken away. And they won't say it like that, but that's the, that's the way to read in between the lines of what they try to say. That's basically what they're saying. Uh, that's not true. People that are free are always going to make mistakes. People that are constricted are going to make the same mistakes. It doesn't matter what you legislate or what kind of laws you pass. People will go around them and people will bypass them. It's going to happen. Don't punish the law-abiding citizen. Punish the criminal after they commit the act to the fullest extent of that law. And that's the best we can do, people. Uh, I'm Wu 854 Thanks for listening, and uh, everybody have a good day. If you don't have a gun, go out and get one. Train yourself how to use it. You are your only defense.